Hi friends, um, here I present a demo using IQ option binary option trading platform starting from $10 deposit and uh, after about 20 minutes of trades the balance becomes $100 or more and uh, this is probably useful because if you can make a $10 deposit to $100 balance means you can make a hundred dollars to one thousand dollars and one thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars for each 20 minutes of trade and uh, here i can show you first screenshot uh, the first one is starting from ten dollars deposit and i already placed the first trade for the put it started about 13.52 and then it's ended this series of uh, trading session around 14.14 14. so you know it's matter of little 20 minutes plus 22 minutes of continuous trading sessions made a $10 deposit to $100 balance uh, in other words $90 profit in 20 minutes and um, as you can see on the first starting screen at the 1349 I traded the $990 and I lost because I intentionally did this to make a starting point as a $10 because IQ option demo account gives you automatically $1000 uh, deposit but it's it's too big and it's unrealistic so I get got rid of the $990 out of the balance so it starts from $10 deposit the same thing uh, because it's more realistic to you to just deposit $10 there's no need to make a $1000 or $100 deposit because you can make these balance starting from $10 and uh, that's the point of this demo. From here, uh, it will change to a real time uh, video. So you can, and I, I'll make some comments along my trading sequences. Uh, also, as you can see, I have configured uh, IQ option platform using 30 seconds candlestick and applying the Bollinger Band which is very useful I will comment while I'm trading and um, the first amount starting from $5 in other words 50% of the $10 deposit uh, to just gain quick leverage because you, you have to win anyway if you are afraid of losing there's no point of uh, trading so just to get the quick you know leverage in the beginning so we have a nice start anyway you will see how it works so hope you enjoy and here we go okay now here I am on a trading platform uh, with five dollars in the trading position and remaining five dollars is current balance. I place this uh, put trade because it's a pretty promising downward candlestick right on the Bollinger Band and uh, Bollinger Band if it's uh, downward it's very promising it, it will continually grow into that direction for another minute or two at least so with a candlestick it's about one two three three to four candlestick 30 seconds candlestick so I place this as a easy winning and uh, as you can see even it bounced back it's still below my trading position so I won and I'm continually placing the downwards I have about 40 seconds left to be concluded the second trade 
it's still growing downwards. It reversed, but it's not the complete reversal yet. Therefore, it is probably it's going to fall down a little bit more by the time in the next 15 seconds. It's a little resistance. It's undecided. Now it came down, and uh, so it looks like uh, another easy win. Here we go. So I, I won <clears throat> twice in a row and uh, the balance became $18.70. The next one I needed to uh, confirm whether the reversal taken place or not. So I still placed the put trade but uh, it's evidently reversal has taken its place. <clears throat> so now it's growing up, upwards. So this one I've lost, but it's okay because it's a confirmation for the reversal. Losing once is okay, but never lose twice in a row. And if you lose three times in a row, it's almost point of no return. So the next one I have to win, no matter what. So this is uh, uh, upwards, it's a reversal direction, and uh, it will continue again another minute or two. So I have about 40 35 seconds left and it's growing nicely upwards so this is a easy win uh, because I already confirmed it's a you know bullish upwards trend and uh, another 14 minutes 12 minutes uh, I mean seconds so this is already won Here we go. So I have traded one, two, three, four, and won three and lost one. That's okay. The next one is still continually going up, but I have to wait and see uh, the behavior. Is it reverse to downwards? or not, I don't know, uh, but I placed upwards, still uh, going uptrend, but this one, it looks like I lost, so I, I'm opening the new session before the conclusion of the last trade. So reversal has taken place, so now I'm trading towards downwards and uh, it's still above the my trading position but it's a downward trend now so just has to be patient I still have another 40 seconds to see where it's gonna end up so the last trade I lost to confirm the it's a downwards bearish trend now it's still above the my trading position but it will conclude below it in about next 15 seconds and uh, that's important as you can see it tried to go upwards but uh, there's so much resistance there because it's a downwards now and I concluded I barely made it but anyway I won at the last moment so go for the next one next one maybe it's reverse to the upwards I don't know yet for sure I have to see because it's a resistances 
okay I decided to go down because uh, downward motion is stronger than upward motion at this time so it, it looks okay okay now it's very strong it, it, it's it's a bearish going down and another just a matter of a few seconds to conclude this position and it's obviously I won okay now we got to the $21.75 this is the first step it's a very crucial step to win 100% and the next step is to win 200% to make the balance $30 and after that it's going to become very easy you will see how it's, it becomes easy after $30 pounds I'm still waiting for the next trade uh, which way to go it's going down but it may be reaching the limit and maybe it's gonna reverse so now you see all these wicks see it almost looks like reverse I have to see another like uh, 15 seconds 10-15 seconds to see if reversal has occurred or not some resistance but it's a reversal upwards force is stronger but I placed uh, put downwards because it's undecided yet it's going towards down because if it's reversed already for the upwards it should be the candlestick green candlestick is, should be much bigger so it is still downwards and um, it's not the big win it's it's the last moment of the resistance after this it will be probably reversed I have to see the next goal is to reach $30 balance uh, right now it's a lot of resistance it's undecided so I take it easy and um, watch maybe it still goes down but the candlestick is a little small I place the put anyway for the downwards because upwards candlestick is also too small so maybe it's gonna carry on the previous trend it's a it's a verge to reverse not quite reverse but this one I lost okay now reversal has taken place it's a confirmation so the next one will grow upwards it's obvious so I placed right away I placed the call trace right away to the next position still a lot of resistance but um, we'll see so now that one penetrated pretty good and uh, now it's keep growing growing up it's a promising it's there's no hesitation to go down it's uh, penetrating the middle Bollinger Band and uh, the middle Bollinger Band is it's a little resistance there but anyway so I won I haven't lost two times in a row so it's fine and uh, this penetration of the middle Bollinger Band kind of promising it will grow all the way up to the upper Bollinger Band so I'm still placing the call 
position and uh, it looks pretty much promising um, again current goal is to reach $30 balance I lost once so I have to win twice in order to get that loss back and this is a good position now it's reversed but I still have enough leverage okay now it was reversed towards the end of the last trade as you can see now it's a downwards it's pretty much confirmed that it's reversed to go downwards but I kind of have to see because the last one didn't go up all the way to the Bollinger Band but I placed the uh, uh, put anyway it's not the weak uh, it's not a strong uh, reversal however there's probably another one more candlestick going downwards oh no I lost it so I'm still have a $24 balance now so it didn't reverse it's in the middle it's undecided either go up or down so I'm waiting and seeing see wait and see how it goes okay now it's a reversal it's pretty strong now so it's gonna go down it's a little resistance and hesitation here but it will go down see now you 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 can understand why it's so difficult from 20 to go up to 30 uh, 20 dollars to grow to the 30 dollars uh, you have to go one step at a time okay one more trade if i win i'm gonna reach 30 dollars balance this one is very tricky it's a, it's a very short candlesticks with a long wicks it's very undecided so i have to wait and see this green upwards candlestick was very short so i decided to uh, place put uh, because it will probably gonna be reversed but that may be a little wishful thinking it looks like growing up but okay it's a very little reversal catched at the end of uh, this trade so I won so now it's a $33.50 balance which makes me much easier now I raised the trading amount from $5 to 30.50 because even if I lose I still have a $20 balance uh, but this will give a nice leverage if I win and uh, so you have to really focus this is going up it's a nice upper upwards trend uh, it's almost reaching the Bollinger Band upper Bollinger Band okay it's penetrated the Bollinger Band okay that's a pretty promising it's gonna grow a little farther upwards so I placed call uh, because that penetration to the Bollinger Band that candlestick was pretty long uh, now it has a wick um, so this is a little resistance here around the Bollinger Band
but I placed the call anyway. Now it's coming down after I placed the trade. However, reversal did not take place. It was still going upwards trend, so my prediction was correct. And, uh, and it's a good win if I win this one. See, I, I won $25.25. Now my balance jumped up to the 45. So now you can see how it's becoming a little more easier. Now I'm going to increase uh, the trading amount to 20. And it's already reversed. Now it's going downwards. It's, it's uh, very promising and sure. So even, even the trading amount is kind of big uh, compared to before using just a five five dollars um, if it's promising why not this is a little resistance there but here we go I won now its balance is 62.65 it grew, grew another hundred percent from thirty dollars to sixty dollars. Uh, it's a continually going down now. Uh, just to confirm how strong it is. It's pretty strong, so it's gonna last for easy another thirty seconds without a reversal. Maybe a little resistance, but not 100% reversal. Just it is going only like a few to 10, 20 pips up and down, but finally decided to go down. And uh, that's okay. So now it's already balance became $80. So now how quick it was from $30 to become $80, gain another $50 in a matter of 3 minutes or so. And uh, this will be the last trade for this session to make a $100 balance. So I make trading amount to $30 because even I lose I still have a $50 balance. So it's a good amount trade at this point to gain more leverage at once. It looks like a nice going up, upwards trend now. Uh, I'm still watching because there's a little long time for the expiry. It's, uh, I still have like a 50 seconds or more. So I have to see um, to write time to press the trade as close as possible to the last 30 seconds expiry range. I'm still looking at uh, I pressed in the last moment, I pressed the trade in the last moment, but it was a timeout, it exceeded the deadline. So I have to uh, try again from the scratch, but it gives me another minute and a half, and uh, now I have another like uh, 50, 60 seconds to decide. This is a big trade <clears throat> during this session, so I have to kind of very uh, I have to make sure I place to the right position and direction. Okay, I'm almost willing to place call here. 
but I'm not sure, so I'm hesitating. And waiting, because those candlesticks are very small right now, movement. It can go any, either way in any matter of the second. So it's not worth engage the trade yet. And the candlesticks are just a very hesitant. Okay, now the downwards looks good. Okay, it's there. So I place the trade. Uh, and see how it ends up. very close but the verdict is almost here in the next 20 seconds I'm winning now and looks promising because it hasn't reached the Boringer band yet it will grow towards the Boringer band the bottom Boringer band Okay, here we go. Now it's a winning, and I exceeded the hundred dollars balance in 20 minutes. So this one can be applied to the, the next 20 minutes if I want to go from hundred to one thousand. But anyway. Uh, so basically, you saw how it was successful starting from $10 deposit with using the $5 trading amount as the beginning for the beginning, and in the 20 minute it grew to $100 balance. Actually, it's a hundred six dollars balance, so it's much better than hundred dollars. And uh, this is the right amount of uh, one session of trading because you can't concentrate too long uh, and st starting to make mistakes. So 20 minutes, 30 minutes is probably the maximum trading time. But you have to be, uh, you know, glued to the glued to the screen and don't miss any uh, momentums. Then you can win like this. Hope it is helpful for you, and uh, I recommend to practice month and month using the free demo account before using your. Uh, real money. Anyway, ciao for now.